Hi everyone! Have recent events left you feeling down in the dumps? Causing you anxiety? Maybe even depression? When you share this news with other people, they often tell you, Hold on to hope. It'll all get better. Don't worry. And yet, how well does that help alleviate the stress that we feel around the situation? Well, today we're covering just that, the science around hope. Hope that things will get better. What exactly is hope? Well, it can be broken down into a wonderful little acronym that's GPA. G stands for goals. So, for example, let's say you just recently lost your job. The G, or the goal, would be to find employment. Your brain immediately, instantaneously, will start creating P in GPA, which is pathways pathways on how you can accomplish that goal. So if you want to get reemployed, it'll immediately start thinking through what are some options, where else could I work, where do I have good rapport, how can I maybe network in order to get myself to a desired company. Your brain is already starting turning that wheel. Now the key to hope is in the A, and the A stands for agency, which is the belief or the ability to act on one of those pathways. In the case of looking for a new job, it would be, huh, actually, now that I think about it, one of my friends just recently moved over to recruiting there. Maybe I could reach out and see if I could make a connection there. This activity can actually be used in order to garner the emotion of hope. If you have a desired goal, you can put it, you know, at the top of a sheet of paper, write down all the pathways to get there, and then evaluate which ones you believe you have the ability to act on. This garners the emotion of hope, which is different than optimistic or optimism or opt optimistic thinking. So when you, for example, shared with a friend that you lost your job and you're looking for employment, if they say, oh, buck up camper, don't worry, there's a lot of people out there and they're finding jobs, so you can too. That might be encouraging and it's happy thinking, and yet in the same sense, it doesn't go through the step-by-step -step of putting tangible pieces in place in order to alleviate the pressure of the situation. This is why recent scientific research on the science behind hope in the last couple of years has found that when it comes to feeling blue and down in the dumps and feeling depressed, that both optimistic thinking as well as hope combat that very effectively. However, the curious thing to me is they also found when it comes to anxiety, where you feel stressed and helpless to act on the situation you're in, they found that hope responds to anxiety much more effectively than just somebody telling you, you know, don't worry, it'll get better. You think to yourself, how can I not worry? This is awful. I can't do anything. Well, hope is that emotion that makes you and helps you believe that, guess what? There is something I can do to better my situation. And that alleviates that anxiety, that stress, that pressure, and helps us move on to a brighter day. This just shows what a powerful and amazing emotion hope is, and how it can actually be more effective than optimism in certain situations. I would love to hear your comments and feedback on our YouTube channel regarding the science of hope. And I say keep hope alive. Remember, subscribe, tell your friends, and we'll see you next week. Thanks!